Hello, my name is Igor and I'm a member of Technical Support Department here in Prague Headquarters. In this video, I'm going to talk about CAN intercontroller communication redundancy in IG1000 controllers. CAN intercontroller communication redundancy or CAN2 redundancy is a function that duplicates whole intercontroller communication, which is on CAN2A, and sends it via CAN2B. This is the premium feature that requires a software key. Software key can be inserted in set points, basic settings, software key. In order to get this premium feature or any other software keys, please contact your responsible sales manager from ComUp. Can intercontroller redundancy can be activated in set points, communication settings, in the intercontroller settings group. Can intercontroller redundancy can be used with 8C can FD or 64C can FD com mode selected. Can FD mode is dedicated for intercontroller communication between IG1000 controllers. The other two options, 8C and 32C modes, are to be used with older controllers such as IGSNT, IGSGSC, IG200 or IG500. CAN2 intercontroller communication line is used for parameters and values sharing between advanced COMAP controllers. Some values are shared automatically and some of them can be then configured. IntelliJ1000 can share up to 32 binary outputs and 4 analog outputs over the dist out virtual module. The number of these modules is limited to 1 for each controller and it takes index of controller address of this exact controller. But each controller can receive up to 63 dist in groups of inputs from all other 63 possible controllers on CAN2. So it means 63 times 32 binary inputs and 63 times 4 analog inputs from all 63 available controllers on the CAN2 line. CAN2 dist in and dist out virtual modules can be configured in controller configuration in the virtual module section. In controller configuration, you can add up to one dist out, which, which stands for outputs, and up to 63 dist in virt virtual modules. Now let's switch to IntelliConfig and test CAN2 data sharing. Here I have two IntelliJ1000 controllers that are interconnected over the CAN2A and also CAN2B intercontroller communication lines. In order to show you how it works, I've already configured the virtual dist, dist out and dist in modules in both of those controllers. So as you can see, this is the dist in module for inputs with module index one, and on the second controller, I have the dist out module with the index that corresponds with controller address. So as you can see here. In the I.O. configuration, you can set up all the outputs that you would like to share. I've used some of the default values that are always in the controller, such as battery voltage and some statistics. And then I can check it in the values of the second controller. So if I go to values, virtual shared inputs, and as you can see, we have the distributed analog inputs from one to four. can redundancy works for the instances where there is a problem on the can IA line. So in, if I unplug the can a connector, Communication will switch to CAN2B and warning redundant CAN inconsistency will show up. But as you can see, all the values are still visible and available for the second controller. If you would like to know more details about this function, please check the global guide for IntelliJ1000 on ComUp web pages. Thank you for watching, hopefully it was useful for you and in case you have any questions, 
please check our other training videos or contact our technical support department.